So I have a lot of students and drawing people that attend like our figure drawing sessions at Kava Works, and they'll see people doing this all the time where they're looking at the model or the thing trying to be drawn and they're holding their pencil up. And I had a student ask me a while back, what, what are those people doing? You know, I didn't go to art school, so I don't know all the fancy tricks. And it sort of struck me as something that I had always taken for granted because I'd been taught it uh, in school. And it's a really helpful tip when drawing. So what I'm doing is I'm basically using my pencil as a measure to make sure that the height and the, the width of the different pieces that I'm drawing are in correct proportions. Um, and proportions are really the important part in making someone look like themselves. If um, you were drawing my face and you made the eyes a lot bigger than my nose, all of a sudden it no longer looks like me. Um, and so what artists are doing when they're sort of squinting with one eye and holding a pencil up and using their thumb is they're using their thumb to sort of mark the distance. So I'm using one end of my pencil to my thumb as a distance for the width of this dinosaur guy's head here. And then I'm measuring the height of my dinosaur guy's head and sort of comparing it to the width of the head. So in this case, the dinosaur head is half as tall as it is wide. So on my drawing then, I can take the width that I have for the head there and compare it to the height and sure enough I've got half of the width or half of the width is my height. So by doing that all around and comparing to sort of one point I can start to map out this drawing and really start to get things into the correct proportions and make sure that my drawing looks more like my dinosaur.